Hello, hello. Today is day six. Uh, we have um, the Albuquerque Balloon Fiesta going on. We live about 30 minutes from the Balloon Fiesta Park. We're north of Albuquerque, but it's been quite a week. So um, if you get if you haven't heard of it, check it out. It's I guess it's the most photographed event in the world because anywhere from 900 to 1,000 balloons go up, hot air balloons, and it goes from Saturday to Saturday. So it just started yesterday and it goes till next Saturday. So um, anyway, just lots going on there. So today I was, um, I tried to tag people. It's not letting me, so I'll try and tag people after it's ended. It's, I just wanna tap on health issues. I mean, I've had them myself. And so this is a topic near and dear to my heart. And the thing that I notice, no matter what the health issue is, it's how we see it, um, our self-talk about it. Um, and it can be anything from debilitating cancer to some you know, um, uh, autoimmune disorder, but it's truly like what I've found for myself, it's the attitude that we have about it. So like say a symptom comes up and then you go, oh God, there it is again, or oh, I thought it was over that. And, and it took me a while once I started working with a gal that does functional medicine, and it took like a good year and a half before I had this itching and this rash that finally disappeared. And I would find myself so frustrated and all this stuff. And then all of a sudden, I've talked about this before, one day I felt like, oh, I think I turned a corner that much. And like she had said to me, you didn't get this way overnight, so you're not gonna get out of it overnight. So the big thing for me, and we'll tap through this is, when you're, the, the best thing I can recommend is as you're struggling with say some health issues, as you notice symptoms, as you notice things coming up around it, that is the perfect time to either, either use the mental noting and just being like worrying, worrying or tapping, even if it's a quick round, oh, there it is again. Oh, I'm so frustrated with the symptom. I'm never gonna heal from this. Oh my God. And you wanna, interrupt the pattern because that's the best thing you can do. But let's just do a general tapping on health issues. Hey, Susan, uh, good to see your name here. So start in the karate chap. Even though I've struggled with health issues and I can feel scared and frustrated, I choose to acknowledge I feel this way now. Even though I've struggled with health issues, I'm struggling right now. What if the best thing I can do for myself is catch myself when I'm going down the rabbit hole of seeing this negatively and just interrupt it. Even though I'm struggling with health issues and I don't need to use toxic positivity to get me through this at all. What if the best first step is to interrupt the negative thoughts when I catch them, not to stop them, just interrupt them. Go to the eyebrow. What if that is a big key here? To just notice when the negative thoughts take hold and just interrupt them. When I catch myself in the act, just go worrying or do some tapping just to honor my frustration or my fear about it. What if that could actually be a relief? Because I don't have to try to think positive about this. I can just honor my truth 
and tap through that truth. And what if by doing that, over time I notice that I feel less frustrated about symptoms or less worried. And then what if by doing this, all of a sudden the day comes where I notice, I feel kind of optimistic about this. And it's not because I'm trying to see this positively. It's that I've honored my truth. No matter how negative that might seem. Tap through it. Which allows it to release from my nervous system. And then what if an amazing byproduct comes from that? Where over time I start to feel optimistic without trying to be optimistic. And what if that's the best thing ever because it's happened by me honoring my truth and take a breath I, again I've said this in other tapping videos but it was such a relief for me to like stop abusing myself trying to think positive about something that I had so much momentum going on to the negative and it was like, no, I just got to keep interrupting that thought that's like, oh, my God. And as I would do that, all of a sudden I started to notice, oh, I just feel like less negatively about this. And then all of a sudden I'm like, oh, I actually feel more positive. And then that that grows from there. So, Susan, great to see you here. Hope you found this helpful. And this will be posted on YouTube shortly. And see you back here tomorrow for day seven. Bye for now.